Hey everybody, I'm Sarah, Lonesome Glory, and today I'm going to show you my entry and mom's entry for the Briarfest 2024 Diorama Contest, Pop Culture That Pops. So let's get started.
my diorama spanned the time from the mid-1970s and 1980s to the present. Stephen King, New York Times best-selling author, Bram Stoker Award winner, National Medal of Arts recipient, King of Horror. Stephen King has been synonymous with horror since his first book was released in 1974. Since then, King has published 65 books and over 200 short stories. At least 40 of these works have been adapted for stage or screen, giving the world some of the most iconic horror scenes. In this diorama, I have paid homage to those films, selecting the unforgettable pop moments from four of King's best-known works. Carrie, which was published in 1974 and adapted for the screen in 1976. The Shining, which was published in 1977 and adapted in 1980. Firestarter, published in 1980 and adapted in 1984. And It, which was published in 1986, first adapted in 1990, but I chose the 20. 17 and 2019 adaptations to depict. These scenes, while instantly recognizable by any horror fan, have become cultural zeitgeists, earning Stephen King and his works a place among pop culture that pops.
This is mom's description for her diorama. The year was 1964. Rock'em Sock'em Robots, pop culture that literally pops. In 1964, Marx introduced a new game for two players, where each player controlled a brightly colored robot. The object of the game? Get your robot to pop his opponent's head until it springs upward. Rock'em Sock'em Robots has been continuously available since its introduction, though it was shrunk from its original scale when Mattel released it in the 2000s. My diorama is a briar reimagining of the original robots. Rather than Rock'em Sock'em humanoid figures, it features buckin' kickin' cyborg equines fighting for pop culture dominance. It looks like the Blue Bomber has won this round. Well, those are our entries for the Pop Culture That Pops Diorama Contest. I will let you know how they do uh, as soon as any of that information is available. While we have to have them sent in by the 21st of June, they don't judge or make any of the announcements until Briarfest weekend. So stay tuned and we can see how that goes together. We have a lot of fun things coming up on the channel for Briarfest. Uh, that stuff is really starting to kick off now. We are less than a month away, which is crazy. So I look forward to talking to you guys more. And if you have Briarfest questions or ideas for videos, as always, let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching, for subscribing, and I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.